lying on the back, knees bent, feet flat, legs hip distance apart. Pelvis, neutral position. Inhale, open one knee. Exhale, return it to its start position. Inhale, open the opposite knee. Exhale, return it to its start position. Four sets, eight repetitions. So what we're focusing on here is the breath activating and firing the deep core muscles. So as you exhale, feel that corset hug around the waist, 360 degrees around the waist. Also feel the pelvic floor begin to engage, that sensation of an internal lift. We're maintaining pelvis in neutral. Once we've done eight, let's add a leg slide. So as before, you open the knee, but then we slide the leg directly forward. Then we turn the knee to face the ceiling so the leg returns to parallel and we drag the leg back in. Inhale to open the knee and slide the leg forward. Exhale to turn the knee to face the ceiling and drag the leg back in. Four sets, eight repetitions. Once more we are focusing on pelvis staying neutral. Never open that knee too wide but the opposite leg opens as well nor do we want to open it too wide that the pelvis starts to tip. We then bring the feet together and closer into the seat, lifting the heels. Now both knees float over to one side and then they return to the center. Inhale, send the knees to the opposite side and exhale, return them to the center. The arms can open a little bit wider than the mat and you want to think about the upper body from the belly button up to the head, staying level and flat on the mat. Once you've done four repetitions, imprint, draw the legs to tabletop and continue this movement. This time the knees and the feet go over to one diagonal. Inhale, hold. Exhale, send them all the way over to the other side. Inhale, hold. Once again, from belly button to head, level. Flexing the feet. Exhale, shift the legs forward an inch or two. Inhale, return the legs back to tabletop, knee over hip, shin parallel to the ceiling. We're focusing on that imprint. Maintain the length, the distance between the rib and the hip. Almost like you've got a steel rod between your lower rib and hip. Pointing the feet, single leg alternating toe taps. Exhale, tap the right toe to the floor. Inhale, return the leg to tabletop. Exhale, tap the left toe to the floor. Inhale, return the leg to tabletop. Maintaining the 90 degree angle at the back of the knee, moving the thigh forward and down, only taking the leg as low as imprint can be maintained. For a challenge, flex the feet. Double leg heel tap. The legs won't go as low as before. You've got double the weight to think about. Maintaining the 90 degree at the back of the knee. Maintaining your imprint. Moving the thigh forward and down. Once you've completed eight repetitions, we're gonna add a further challenge. Reaching the arms to the ceiling, palm facing palm. As you take that double leg heel tap, reach the arms as far back as the rib cage placement can be maintained. So what we want to avoid is taking the arms all the way back to the floor so the chest and the ribs open and lift. We also want to avoid taking the legs and the heels all the way down to the floor to avoid the pelvis tipping forward and the lower back overarching. Eight repetitions. Exhale to open, inhale to return. Again, almost feel like you've got that little steel rod between the lower rib and the hip on each side. Returning the arms and the feet to the floor, just lift to bridge and hold that for a few seconds, opening the front of the body, specifically the hip flexors. Imprinting, drawing the legs to tabletop, we're gonna go for a single leg stretch, keeping the head and shoulders down. Lengthening the leg away on the low diagonal, only taking it as low as imprint can be maintained. Keeping the head and the shoulders down, we're just working the lower abdominals, the deeper layer abdominals a little bit more. Lengthening the legs to the ceiling. Exhale, lower lift, one leg. Inhale, return. Exhale, lower lift, the opposite leg. Inhale, two, return. We're going to go for eight or four sets, focusing on the leg that you're lowering, focusing on how long you can make it, not how low you can make it. 
we then come into our scissors, which is exactly the same. You just make the transition a little bit quicker. So they pass each other at the halfway point. Again, focus on that bottom leg, reaching it as long as possible. Imprinting. Eight sets. Joining the legs together, drawing them to tabletop, placing them on the floor. Lift to bridge, hold. Focus on the length from shoulder to knee. Returning the pelvis to the floor, imprinting legs to tabletop. Open the knees like a diamond and rest your right ankle on top of your left ankle. Roll over prep or tailbone lift. Exhale, lift the tail. Inhale, return it to the floor. Eight repetitions with the right ankle on top before we switch legs. Left ankle on top, eight tailbone lifts. Really avoid swinging the legs here. You almost want to imagine that the knees are not really allowed to get closer to the nose. Engage the lower abdominals to perform this. Hugging the knees into the chest. Returning the feet to the floor. 